Okay, this is just a, an example of a simple 12 volt uh, circuit that you can run a CFL or a LED on. I've just got a normal average 12 volt car battery uh, attached to this. Let me see if I can, you can see the battery there. And the voltage on that battery right now is about 13.8.7, somewhere in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this circuit on. And it drops down to 13.6. Um, one thing I want to show you, I, I think it's kind of fascinating, but this is the, the hot wire coming off the secondary. And I've got a a 1N or IN4007 diode in here. And with the diode, I'm getting, with the light lit, and this is a 14 watt CFL, uh, the daylight type. And, uh, and it... Um, it's a, it runs a normal for 14 watts from your local power utility. Okay, now I'm going to take the power off and I'm going to put it, otherwise I'm going to take the diode out of the circuit. I still get a bright light. My voltage falls down below 200 volts. Um, amperage is about, uh, about 800 milliamps out of it. And with that on there it jumps up to about 900 800 850 to 900 it'll jump to 900 and then it, over the course of a couple minutes it'll settle in at about 850 um, let me get this set right I didn't have it set right there it is Okay, now I got it. About uh, 760 uh, volts. Okay, a little bit different. And this is a pretty bright light. Um, but it's pretty amazing just what that diode does for the voltage. Again, it got sev over 750 volts. And now it drops down to 200. And relatively about the same amount of amps, so you get a higher voltage by just using a diode. Okay, and then I I built this. It is just an empty Nesquik container that happened to be the right size. And what I did is I cut it a I cut a hole in the bottom of it so that I could fit it over the top uh, of the light. When I'm working on the circuit, it it doesn't blind me. And it also serves uh, another purpose. I have a uh, a lumen meter. Uh, I think I paid I don't know less than twenty five dollars for it on the inlet on the internet. And it's a UT three eight two USB. Um, and what this container here does is it allows me to uh, get the same height. From the light bulb up and it's not according to industry standard either because if you look it up uh, the lights about two feet away from the the meters on an industry standard but this is a good reference point in my opinion um, like I'm getting 1349 lumens out of that uh, that little short distance and it works good when I'm taking, I'm testing a circuit and I'm taking coils off of the primary and testing and whatnot. Um, it's a good indication of, of my power gains and losses. Um, now I'll show you, uh, this is the CFL. I'll take it out and I'm going to put a... 7 watt LED normally puts out about 470 lumens okay she's relatively bright 
200 and 218 to 225 volts without the diode 825 volts with the diode About 945 lumens is what I'm getting on that. Not as as bright as the CFL, but a little less on the power. This one here draws um, about 600 milliamps, so you're paying just about watt for watt uh, with a seven watt. Now here's a much stronger LED. It's a 19 watt. Uh, it says 430 lumens. Eight hundred eighty-six. So again, if it was in a, a industry standard. Uh, lumens test uh, the meter would be about two feet away from the light in a cylindrical chamber but that's too big for my little platform I'm working on here anyway I wanted to pass this on to you uh, I provided the drawing at the beginning of this sh short uh, video and hope you guys enjoy